Hey everyone, it's such a pleasure always to come speak to you. I'm so day gum busy, it's, you know, but you know, we've rescheduled everything and so this week is yours. I get to go through this hunk of pile of questions uh, and I hope I get to yours uh, as soon as I can. I really appreciate all your questions and I know you're some of you are really going through some hard times, and you, I'm with you. I'm, I'm right there with you. And just remember, it just takes a little while to, to hydrate and to get that lymph moving in all those small interstitial spaces around all your cells. And you got to get your kidneys filtering. Now, with a little help from my friend here, my little baby friend, this here is a local papaya, and uh, it's a beauty, ain't it? His tree is bearing 10, 12 papayas constantly. Excellent. I'll be with you later, dear. <laughs> Kelly. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. I'm sure there's a lot of you. Kelly, I love you too. Thank you for this. Uh, you're a sweetheart, honey. I appreciate that. I love you too. Thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, she's uh, just saying how she's had uh, some good times. So, uh, thanks, Kelly. Being love is right. That's what you do, is you be love. Now, this, I read this, and I asked for the eyes, and sure enough, you sent me the eyes. And who is this? This is Desiree. Hi, Desiree. Now, uh, this is a 20-year-old female from South Africa. Uh, doctors have put her on antibiotics more than seven times. See, they just don't get it. You don't kill the messengers. You go after the same thing they're going after. You're going after sewage and lymph. Acids, that's what bacteria is going after, proteins, eat more of them, you know. So it's just, people just are fixated, and the sad thing is, they're trying to ruin everything because of this fixation that medical doctors have, and not curing anything. So they have to blame God some way, and if you blame bacteria for everything, that's a problem. Now this is the lady, let me go over, I've already read hers on the last one, so let's go ahead and let me look at your eyes. And this is for Desiree Rath. She's from South Africa. Let me show you her eyes. I can't do the Drew thing today. He's busy out there. But I want to show you this. That's her uh, right eye. And this is her left eye. Notice the nerve rings in there. See all those rings? Those are nerve rings. And uh, that means your adrenals are, are, are down, sweetheart. And I'll, I'll say this. You got pretty good genes here. Most of what I am seeing is chronic lymph stuck in certain tissues. Those are generally the little genetically weaker tissues, uh, definitely chronic bowels. Anything that's real dark in your eyes, that dark brown, that's where your, your lymph is the most. And it's heavy around the gut and stomach area. You've got some areas in the head. You're starting to build up in the left eye around the cerebellum area here. Be careful there. That's equilibrium dizziness stuff. Uh, also, on the right um, right side, you've got cerebellum as well. Uh, lymph, that, that's acids equals inflammation, uh, you know, equals all kinds of problems, from pain to swelling to all kinds of problems there. But uh, clean your bowels out really good. I think your transverse colon is keeping you from draining here real well. The rest of your body looks like it's coming cleaner. Uh, the left... Uh, the left kidney is just really uh, full of lymph. It's chronically lymphatic up. So you have a chronic kidney on the uh, left side. Now, weakness-wise, hard to determine the weakness here, but definitely chronic lymph and bob, chronic in your uh, part of the leg, also the um, a groin on that side. With that said, on the right side, same type of thing. Kidney's much better, though, on that side. Uh, it looks like the leg is not move. You're not moving that lymph out of that kidney enough, so the leg's kind of backing up there a little bit. Yeah. Probably a little bit of the hip as well. But uh, if I look at pancreas and gallbladder, it'd probably be a good idea just to clean out your gallbladder, liver, and the pancreas. Get that all cleaned up. Uh, thyroid, throat, a lot of lymphatic stuff going on there. But in terms of weakness cells and stuff, you got nice fibers, strong constitution. Uh, sometimes you don't feel, a lot of people don't feel their strength because they feel so inflamed. This is the lymph system. And surprisingly so, a lot of you guys are very strong constitution people. And you're one of them, uh, sweetheart, but you've got a lot of lymph going on here. 
You get a skin ring somewhat, so you're not eliminating well out of the skin. So you want to kick that up. But those nerve rings, so you have chronic adrenals, and, and so in the family genes for quite a while. This is going to trip down the uh, kidneys. It's just not going to let them filter well. So go after your adrenals and, and your kidneys. But that lymph system is key for your focus. And you're lucky you don't have a lot of things to focus on, but you do have lymph. You've got to get this head drained or you get that equilibrium and all kinds of problems there. So you want to take care of that. But thanks for the eyes. You get great pictures here for me to see. And uh, they really look good. Your spleen is really backed up. You really just got to take off after your lymph system. And I also would do upper circ for a little while. Get up in here with some good blood. But also, um, brain and nerve. Brain and nerve number two would be something I would use because you have an excessive amount of nerve rings. And this is the autonomic. So, in reality, you have low blood pressure, could have low blood sugars. If you're experiencing high blood pressure, then your kidneys are going down, you know. But the, uh, <clears throat> this is a case with that many nerve rings where you have really low blood pressure. So, you have kind of a setup here. When you see MS, Lou Gehrig's, things like this, the setup is this. First, weak adrenals. Hard to charge up the nervous system. Low neurotransmitters, that's low blood pressure. Generally speaking, 100 or below. Hard to charge up the nervous system with that. In a long-term genetic uh, area, you lose your myelin sheath. With that said, also the cerebellum is involved in most MS cases where there's equilibrium and dizzy, drop foots, things like this. With that said, of course, in the brain, then you start getting brain lesions. you get got pretty strong cells, so I don't know. Uh, you, you, you should be okay with all of that. Just get your nervous system back on board. Get those adrenals up. Get your kidneys filtering. And you should be pretty good to go there, Desiree. Focus on the lymph system. Nice eyelashes, by the way. Yeah, let me see who this is from. Gregory. Uh, none of the words can express my... Oh, wow. Gratitude for your work. I see the little pictures behind you. Indeed, you are. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm, I'm trying. You know, it's just... We're all bucking a system that's got this planet in trouble. And this it's not just the AMA, it's the whole consciousness of treatment-based thinking. So we have to lift our awareness up out of that consciousness into what's causing these problems, which is a natural expression. When the AMA asks that, they're asking with a cloud of understanding to begin with. So there's no connecting dots. For those medical doctors that are more spiritual and more awake and watching their clients and really sincere about health, they can get this real easy because then we can connect all your dots. And that's important for all of us physicians to connect the dots for people, but to converse with people in a simplistic, forthright manner. If you don't know something as a physician, be forthright and tell them, yeah, I don't know. You know, that's better than coming up with some bull crap like autoimmune and crap like that. I don't know. But once you understand the lymphatic system and acidosis, you can understand all diseases. What you call, what the AMA calls diseases, you can understand all of them. It's just realigning your thinking about high protein diets and high acid foods because this isn't alkalosis like a lot of chemists think. Chemistry is not like some people think. Most, a lot of chemists think people are in trouble with alkalosis and if you ride on that bandwagon, your, your wagon is going to hellville. Not going to Wellville, Hellville. I have a question. Uh, can eating only fruits help in schizophrenia cases? You know what? Most definitely, here's, a, here's an issue. You think about herbs and things for glands and work on the glands with schizophrenia. You work on the adrenals, you work on the thyroid, parathyroid. I'm training you guys to look at the pituitary because this is something you don't see too many places. I'm going to train you how to look at the pituitary and how the pituitary controls all the other glands. Remember, TSH is thyroid stimulating hormone. PTH, that's parathyroid hormone. All these are coming out of the pituitary, turning on the glands. And a lot of times in the medical world, it's always the thyroid, never the pituitary, and the opposite is true. So you can correlate in a female real easy, we've talked about this many times, about pituitary problems. You're short, your periods are, are uh, either excessive bleeding or irregular, that sort of thing. Uh, 
So these are the sort of things you want to work on. At lunch, I was having a big salad at Chili's with some people, and here's this lady, this young girl. She can't be more than 20 or so. She's at least 6'3", and no breasts. So you could tell that her pituitary was hyperactive, but wasn't giving her the breasts and things like that. So, you know, this is why getting healthy is so important for the balance of things. But, I keep in mind that all fruits is very powerful. And sometimes, if, you're, if your clients, and I'm talking to all you YouTubers that are helping others, because so many of you are incredibly helping others. It's just, it's just all of you guys, Marco, I mean, all of you guys. And thanks, Marco, for that. Matter of fact, Marco was saying we have a lot of testimonials on MoveYourLymph.com. A very that needs to be a popular site. MoveYourLymph.com. And there's another one. I, it's written down somewhere here. I'll find it. But uh, this is it. Uh, also, there's testimonial section on GrapeGate. GrapeGate. G-A-T-E.com. Thanks, Marco. You know, I got so many here. We have books. Because people write their testimonials, they rarely record them. But if we can get recorded testimonials, that's nice because we'll put them up and, let, and talk, to, you know, your stories and stuff. You know, some people are working themselves out of hell, Bill, and sometimes it's really difficult. And then others are getting their remedies like this. Well, a guy in here this morning, a martial art uh, instructor, top, top guy there, really, really good. He started filtering in three days. Three days. And he starts filtering. I said, three days? His friend, another one of us, three years. Three years. That's what we've got to determine. How can we get people filtering quicker? Now, granted, this guy has strong constitution and uh, not bad kidneys. And then the adrenals are halfway decent. So he got to filtering quick, and I see that. But then I also see the time it takes others so long. Don't say there. But the energy, uh, Gregory was with the fruits. If you're not spiritually halfway mature, you're going to reach a point where it could be overwhelmingly energetically. Now, I know this sounds for some of you that are dragging your feet, but I want to tell you, you can turn that around. And uh, I, I don't go to bed till 2 or 3 in the morning, and I'm up at 6, 6.37. I'm pumping. This week, I, I transplanted some major trees. I dug holes for trees, you know, big trees, full-grown trees. We moved about 25 of me and another guy. And let me tell you, that's a lot of hard work. And it's just like, it's endless energy. Endless. And you have to be careful because you can burn your body up. You have to be careful about that. But... Um, be careful with the energy because in energy and you don't have yourself together, it can wig you out a little bit. So with schizophrenia and bipolar and the like, you want to work on the endocrine glands. These are more where your karma is stored. This is your, your inner bodies, your etheric bodies, your emotions, your mind. All these glands are related to these. So you've got two-way streets. You've got genetic weaknesses in the cells. Then you've got the flood problem that takes care of the cells. And then you've got the karma that's coming down on all of that from the soul's journeys. So it's quite a bit, you know, and you have to think about all of that. But in essence, if you relax and let it all go, I've been giving you little tidbits here. If you relax and let it all go, it'll work itself right out. You know, the, the tools to hydrate and get, get your body more base balanced and get the, get the lymph filtering through the kidneys and the skin and, you know, get all this inflammation out of the body, repair any damage that's going on, remember yourself genetically to a higher level of consciousness. It's just reversing how you go the other way. It's that simple. Don't make things hard here. It's just reversing how cells lose their memories of what their performance should be. And how does that happen? Well, you only have two major fluids that control that. Of course, you have the consciousness of the individual. There's no question about that. So, so you have several factors that come in on a cell, the consciousness of the, of the individual soul that's using that body, but also chemistry. Chemistry is chemistry, and it controls everything at this level. So yeah, but yeah, take off with that. Now, he, this guy was filtering in three days was telling me he did a lot of watermelon. Mm. Well, we know watermelon's kidneys. We know it's red. It's aggressive. So perhaps... 
21-year-old patient is not compliant with anything herbs. However, if fruits could be the only option to eat in this house, then this could be the only way to help. That's what I would do, Gregory. You always do what you can for your clients, no matter if it's just diet. And if they can't do the fruits, you back them down and do greens. Green juices first, and then if they have to have to have some salads, okay. Remember, this is a detoxification area, but it regenerates tissue. It's an area that we should be living at. But keep in mind, man is still way back there where he's just now developing. I mean, when you don't understand and people knock fruits, that's a pretty low state of consciousness. You really, you know, it's just a, you know, so man's got a lot to work on there. But good questions, Gregory. Absolutely. You know, you try to work with people, but there's some clients, and you guys will see what I've been up against all my life. And it's uh, being a healer is a special thing because uh, you're up against so much, you know, so much negativity, so much acidosis, so much of all of this. And getting your client to understand what you're doing, that's another one. That's why you see me as simple as I can get. I don't worry about words this long because no one else can pronounce them either. And why, why confuse and, and, and intimidate your clients with your ego when your job is just simply get them wild to get them to understand what's causing the problem? You only see people that use those long words and all this, that people that can't help people. So they have to they have to find some way to, to set themselves up. It's like bull crap. You know, this is all everybody's just human having human experiences. Communication is vital. So who cares if you can't pronounce major words or or anything else? And who cares if you don't understand your physical body all the way? Don't get freaked out. It's a simple machine. You know, it it, it combusts food and, and, and chemistry and eliminates waste. So work, work with that. You know, if you can just go by work, through the foods, Gregory, go through the foods, definitely. And if you notice uh, a little getting buzzy, uh, balance out with maybe a salad now and then. But whatever you can do with this case, do it. You always got to do the diet. Diet's uno number one. If you can't afford anything, you can do so much with diet. You, 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 can, you can carry yourself all the way to water fasting if you need to. You can carry yourself all the way to great fasting if you need to. You know, you can carry yourself all the way to these sort of things on just diet alone. Hey, Jenny. Uh, I got to write a protocol for Jay. I forgot to. I haven't had time. I've got your file over here, Randy. Okay. All right. Thanks, honey. Okay. Forgive me, but when I remember, so I got so much going there, I can't remember. Thanks, Gregory, for that. And I remember it, I gotta act, or I, and I try to write everything down, but I don't always have things with me. I'm one of those guys who don't even carry much. <laughs> Question on freckles. Yeah, I think I read this uh, uh, the last time, or I talked about it on another video, my dear, but I, I think freckles have to deal with pituitary and skin pigmentation. I think when you're talking about fungus, you're more at the white spots, the darker spots are considered more liver spots, maybe. But uh, definitely, I think freckles have to do, because you're talking about a whole uh, ethnic group of that. And I really think pituitary has a lot to do with that. But then, I'm a freckled guy. But uh, I think it has a lot to do with skin pigmentation in the uh, pituitary. But then again, like I say, yeah, this is a T-A-N-I-A. And she's from, oh, I don't see anything from, oh, Doc, 56 years old, yeah, young you mean, 56 years old, young, KO, nervous system with a black hole, ooh, instead of a super, uh, super renal uh, adrenal glands in the iris and elimination, ooh, deficit, uh, fatigue chronicles, candida sigh, two years of raw food supply, plus juice, hyperintestinal, permeability, urinary pH, and in eight, iridology with thievery, whatever that is, I like fruits, but they allow the discount delivery in circulation, toxins me, repoisons, loss of hair, according to you, I food supply of Dr. Nastasia Campbell. Could she it come to restore this front wall to return later on the vineyard? Absolutely. You know, the thing about this, honey, is um, you're uh, what 
this whole this whole thing it sounds like you got all kinds of things down the adrenals down uh, the nervous system down you know all of that uh, you know uh, fruits don't recirculate toxins and poisons you know only I'll say this if you're not filtering from the kidneys or skin your whole body gets it I mean there, there's no way you're getting rid of poisons but the chemistry is helping to neutralize the acids. At the very least, you're consuming astringents and, and, and um, uh, uh, alkaline principles, your electrolytes. And that helps to neutralize the acids. So at the very least, until you get everything filtering, this is the process of how you start to neutralize, hydrate, and also stimulate kidneys to filter better. So in all ways, it's better, better, better. Uh, if I get what everything you're saying here... You really need to get into those adrenals. Get up on there. Get the kidneys filtering. Uh, kill the candida. Get all that done. Uh, the hyperinterstitial uh, or intestinal permeability. I don't know what you're talking about there. Uh, you know, you have to understand. You're talking about malabsorption uh, because uh, we have leaky gut syndromes and stuff like this. If your bowel wall is so thin. You have to understand that I don't think these words are appropriate for man's problems because we all know what happens when you have a perforated bowel. So anytime you have leaking of contents uh, outside of the wall, you, you're in deep-ass trouble. So I don't know, you know, what all you're talking about. But still, if you're losing hair, this isn't the poisons from, from circulation. This is this is your lymph system that's stagnant up in the head area. You lose hair from acids just like chemotherapy. I mean, when you really look what takes off hair, and some people don't have any, some ladies don't have any hair on their body because of the acidosis. Acids will strip your eyelashes and everything else off of you. So uh, this is all about acidosis, and of course you're right on spot with the adrenals, urinary tract, and all of that. You're right on there. Uh, I don't follow Natasha Campbell too much, so I don't know. What's this one here? Jermaine! Oh, this is hygiene. Oh, wow. Oh, I am proud of you, Jermaine. Five day, can I say this on the YouTube? You're, you're, five days of a 40-day great fast. Yeah! Go, Jermaine, go! Hell yeah! <laughs> and you're in sitting pretty at 6.2 pH. Perfect stuff. Well, if anybody's doing it, it's you, sweetheart. You're really doing well. You just keep that. You don't let anything shake you off your rock. You know, because everything's going to shake you, especially if any of you have had cancer before and you get fear-based with it and that stuff. Don't get fear-based. Get knowledgeed up. Get strong and be, be strong. Understand. So you can control your own world and your own destiny because things aren't better over on the, on the left. Things aren't better allopathically. They only, you only think they are. No, ho, 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 ho. Too many bad stories out there, guys. Too many bad stories. Ah, oh, this is John. Hey, John. Doc, if you eat meat sandwich and get pressurized, pressurized head, what is this also? Is there such a thing as too many herbs? And so far as all that powder in the capsules, can it be nauseating? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Can you take too many? Like 30? Oh, crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, okay, this is my own thought. I personally don't like capsules because I don't like capsules. And then you have the scare about the veggie caps and all this crap like this. All I can say is delivery system, delivery system. You know, I like the tinctures because they're easy to tango down. I will say, though, when you got the herbs capsules, you got raw powder. And I think that's closer to the God herb than, the, than me taking and distilling for 30 days. But I do it with a lot of herbs. I, I have one to four, realistically. Uh, it's hard to explain to you guys about, about herbs, but one to four is as strong as you're going to get in a commercial involvement. If you get them any stronger in your first uh, distillation, you're, you're going to be thick syrup. And you can't sell that. People would be bitching right and left, and you couldn't afford the bottles because... One to four, 
These these you're bu you're buying herbs at twenty three I think or something like that. These are thirty some. About. Richard Schultz sits up and goes, ah, mine are so strong and this sort of stuff. And of course he doesn't do any wholesale. He doesn't give you any breaks. And he's twenty eight to thirty six dollars. Mine's stronger than his. Mine's one to four. Uh, his is probably one to five. But you can't get any stronger than one to four. Best herbs was one to five. Most companies that are good are one to six, and the rest of them are one to seven. I don't know what Gaia herbs is, but they're either one to six probably. One to five was uh, Michael at Blessed Herbs, but you paid more. Uh, uh, mine's one to four, which I pay a lot more for that, and I have it priced under one to sevens. One to seven is uh, nature's way, or used to be nature's way until John got it back. I don't know what he's doing now with it, but you don't buy herbs that way. That's crap. You, know, you want herbs, you want them to work. Now, if you eat a meat sandwich and get pressurized head, yeah, that's a problem with some of you guys. Remember, protein, you're, gonna, you're all going to get a good view of why we say no protein. And it's not a pretty picture because we've been brainwashed with proteins. Well, if you think your body needs protein, then you have to agree your body needs starch, and then you have to agree your body needs fats, concentrated fats, because they all are the same variety. But if you're smart, you know your body requires amino acids, not complete amino acids, which are complex proteins are made of them, but they're just complex to the point it's hard to break them apart. And then you've got the pep and polypeptide stages you've got to deal with there. So you've got quite a bit more to deal with than just simple amino acids. You know what I'm saying? And um, you got simple sugars and simple fatty acids, those are mandatory. But when you complex chemistry, no longer can the body deal with it. Yet we push complex chemistry. I don't get that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, now, pressurized head. Cold water, especially on the back of the head, neural lymphatic points down the back, get on watermelon, fruit, start draining that lymph, get that lymph moving as best you can, because that's what I'm talking about. Too many people are getting pressurized heads. Uh-uh, uh-uh, nothing good comes of this. This gentleman was in this morning, his wife was in, they just drilled holes in her eyes because of glaucomic pressure. Instead of realizing what's causing it and fixing it, they drilled holes in her eyes. Common stuff, but still, it's like, oh, and she was only one week of coming to see me or two. It's like, oh, poor thing. But that doesn't save the day. They just drilled holes in her eyes. They didn't fix her limp system. So she's got all kinds of things going on. So you know what I'm saying? You guys are getting smart. Stay smart. Don't be pulled in places that have no nowhere to go but dead ends. So thanks. Thanks for that, John. But get that pressurized head out of there. I'm telling you. And remember, when you combine protein and starch, bad news. Starch is a, is a base chemistry digester, and guess what meat is? Acids. So you need an acid. It's so complex, you need an acid to break it apart. Base chemistry won't break uh, meat apart. It requires acids, like Coca-Cola. Actually, Coke won't even hardly do it. It will break up meat eventually. It's hydrochloric acid, which is 10 times hotter than Coke. Coke is just what your cell acids are. Ow! You ever feel a lot of pain anywhere? That's 3 pH pain. Good morning to you all. Good morning, Denise. I wanted to let you know that you are the most amazing. Oh, man. Thank you so much. I love you, honey. It's the same name as my second wife, Denise. There is absolutely nothing boring about... Oh, thanks, sweetheart. I'm... You know, I understand I'm just sitting here rattling off stuff, so I, I don't have pretty things like uh, Danny, but, uh, ooh, what's this? Uh, these are your questions that I'm just trying to help, and I'm grabbing every time I can get, so I apologize if they are on the same line, but it's important to get this down, and when you get it down, then, you know, you don't, don't have to listen. Uh, and I have watched them all. Oh my God! Oh, that's a lot of them. The time and respect you give to the oh, I love you. Thank you, honey. I really do. No one out there speaks so much. Thanks, sweetheart. Oh man, she resonates with what we're saying. I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. Thank you, Denise. Thank you for this. We need people like you. Look forward to more. Oh, thanks, Denise. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And loving the light as well. 
God, it's so good to connect with so many spiritual guys. I felt like I've been out in the woods for so long. You know, I was in Eckenkar for about 30 years, somewhere in that range. And, you know, we had a lot of friends there. But, you know, I miss uh, spiritual people and I miss that. I felt like I've lived out in the uh, darkness too long, you know. But you got to have uh, those people that give the light out. you got to have us in the dark because there's so much darkness out there. So don't be surprised if God doesn't stick you where it's dark. Because that you're the light. You remember that. Each and every one of you, Denise, you're, you're very much the light, you know. You guys are the light. Kelly, you guys are the light. John, all you guys. You know, Ian, look what you're doing, Ian. All you guys, Marco, you guys are all good. We're all here as one, you know. We all help each other and we help others. And we have our ups and downs, okay. But that's life in general, you know. But getting well. That's the first step. What's the second Getting well spiritually. That's a good step. Mm. Riddle. Riddle. All right. Is allness the same thing as nothingness? Allness implies everything, and nothingness implies nothingness. So I want you to let me know what you think. Allness and nothingness, are they the same, and in what way? All right. Thanks for that, honey. Chad. Hey, Chad. Thanks for reading and answering my question. Oh, you betcha. I mean, that's what I'm here for, and I'll be glad to sit and do all of this. And now I finally have the time, guys. I finally have cleared my schedule to this because I'm hoping this will help so many more people than I can see physically. That's why we have other counselors. I personally train them. I personally sit with them every day and talk with them. When I get a case that I know they're not aware of, I share it with them so they understand how to look at these things. So... You know, they, they're the best trained people out there to help you. You know, I just can't, I just can't, I've just got so much to help you. I'd rather hear, I could help so many more of you guys through this channel. My name is Chad and I'm from the BC, British Columbia, Canada. I recently stopped eating meat last fall, good man, and I am trying to eat as healthy as I can at the moment. You're cold though. <laughs> Ooh. Hard in the cold, hard in the cold. But do veggie soups and stuff like that, uh, lightly steamed, and wrap up. If you have low thyroid, kick the thyroid up. That'll warm you up a little bit. Uh, I've been eating lots of fruits every day, coconuts, berries, melons, bananas, etc., etc., along with salads, spinach, kale, cucumber, peppers, and tomatoes, and things as almonds, cashews, and seeds. I would get rid of the last three, although they, they kind of what you want in the wintertime, of course. It's kind of what you're polarized to. Remember, the nuts come, come due in the winter, just in time for the cold, so that's a little protein kick. Uh, it'll warm you up a little bit, a little stimulation there. Yeah, but we're detoxing. So it's hard. It's hard on all you guys. So you get through the winter the best you can. Spring's coming. Thank God. I'm wondering if you could tell me your opinion. What are some essential things I should be consuming regularly if I play basketball often three times a week? Weight lift three times a week. And like a hike, the big coastal mountains up here. <laughs> well, I think it depends on your state of health. And I don't say that lightly because you want to get a picture of your eyes and look at your state of health and see what's going on. Look at your hips, look at your knees, you know, look at your kidneys, make sure you're filtering because there's two ways we can go here. If you don't go too aggressively, you'll, you'll keep your weight, you'll keep everything. You can, uh, you're going to see some muscle shift, especially if you're off of proteins and you're doing veggie uh, aminos. Uh, I think the green drinks are going to keep good muscle on you. All right, make sure you add the parsley and when the dandelion comes in, add them because you want a little kick over to the kidneys and adrenals. But uh, keep that in there with uh, fruits, let's say, always for breakfast. You always want the fruit breakfast, no matter what. You all try that for a month and then try just going and eating something else and you'll see what I'm talking about. Messes with you. You know, the fruit for breakfast, the key thing. If you're detoxifying, you've got to go deeper. Understand the two sides of that. But you're doing pretty good. I get rid of the proteins, though, the nuts and the cashews and all that, because that way you're going to do both. You're going to get well, detoxify at the same time, maintain a certain amount of weight and energetics. Because when you start full bore detox, your body shifts its attention to cleaning and healing itself. We're talking about consciousness here. 
intelligence. So the body's going to shift and heal itself. <laughs> That's a natural thing. Detox is a natural thing and a natural process. Maybe it should be weird out on detox. Detox is nature. That, that's how nature does it. We're only following nature, guys. We're, 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 we're physicians that observe nature. Of course, we've learned chemistry and physics and how, how foods are made of those and the, and the energetics and all this and the magnetics and that sort of thing. Absolutely. But what if we didn't have science to tell you what chemistry is in there? What would you do? You would follow intuitively what is mama and daddy eating. Well, that's a big problem, isn't it, with the humans? Now, most of the other animals don't have a problem. They don't migrate that far out of their zones. Some do to get food in the wintertime, no question. But as a rule, in the subtropics and tropics, you generally the animals stay where they are, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so I would just, uh, you know, take it easy that way. Uh, and if I'm wondering if you could, okay, I should be consuming regularly if I play basketball. Well, the thing is, you have to understand, once you get detoxed and you get malabsorption fixed, you get adrenal fixed, you get on a program and you get all this inflammation out of you, this removes obstructions to the flow of energy. So as a basketball player, which is one of, if I, I'm not sports minded, I mean, I can watch him, but I, I'm more up here. But uh, basketball was Indiana, was basketball. Football something when I grew up, you played in the backyard. Basketball, we took Indiana, Kentucky, Indiana, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio. Oh, yeah, those were serious games. Yeah, there was fighting going on, just like a, the, what, the Super Bowl? <laughs> Well, it was a wrong play when you're right there at the yard line, right there at the goal. You just jump it over. You don't throw it. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, I'll say this. Get these, these fixed. The fruit offers you the highest level of energy and endurance there is. Especially once you get the adrenals cleaned up. Because once you go into detox, everything kind of goes, because proteins are stimulants. I'm here to tell you. Matter of fact, when we get our website set up with the cancer cells and the normal cells and I get all that written out for you, you're going to see another reason why no proteins. Just what, what, what cancer cells have to deal with, what they find around cancer cells. We talked about that before. Excessive proteins and mucus. Ring a bell. Write in just what's going on. But they don't know how to understand that. We do. We do. And that's just what happens. Acids or proteins, for the most part, they give a bite back. And when it's intracellular acidosis, and then the mucus, of course, that, that's just a, a natural immune response to stop the problem. We're going to coat with anti-inflammatory lipids. We're going to stop the problem. But then you get lipid problems. Now, once you get that, the endurance... You're going back and forth down the court. The endurance is phenomenal. Phenomenal. The ability to jump. The ability to feel muscles that are stronger than you've ever felt. You know, it's funny. And I think Ian will probably testify to this, although he's building some nice muscles. But the energy that comes through these muscles, that's a big deal. And you can have little bitty ones. It's like this martial arts expert. He can put down big boys, bodybuilders, big boys. But, and he's just, he's getting that energy going. Of course, he's, he knows how to work it. But, uh, you know, you can, you can get some very powerful muscles. And you can feel it coming in. I felt it coming into me. I'm going, my God, I feel like my muscles are ten times bigger than they are. I can't even describe it. Power, baby. Strength, baby. But this is this is a, a fabricated, in, in, uh, enhanced, uh, stimulated power you get with, with proteins. Uh -uh, you don't get the stiffy, bulky stuff. You get flexibility, you get strength, and you get quickness. Ah, quickness. Absolutely. I love it. Uh, but weightlifting, if you're detoxing, I don't recommend weightlifting. If you're not detoxing and you want to weightlift, talk to Ian. I, I wanted to show you some. Let me see. I don't think he would mind. Hey, Shannon, honey. Yes. Do you have pictures of Ian? Could you bring him in to me? Yeah. Thanks, honey. 
show you a guy that I think it, it, he's really got it down. And he's helping so many people. This is a good guy. He likes to hike in the big coastal mountains. Well, that's a thing. Endurance. Endurance. And uh, what about hydration? Another little thing, right? What dehydrates a person? Acids. What dehydrates you in sports? Not just lactic acid because you're increasing respiration because you, you create all the acids. Of course, an additional lactic acid because you're working the muscles more, right? What if your body had the ability to neutralize and move these acids? See, I, I'm telling you, it, it's a whole different world athletically when you're at these high levels of raw. A whole different world. You just, you surpass everyone else. And, and intellectually, from, from academics, it's a whole different world. Look at these young children and where they go on raw foods. I mean, it's like, ho, ho, whoa, whoa, look, their awarenesses grow like crazy. I mean, you guys are building the future like nobody's business. This planet's never seen anything like this before. And you guys are part of this evolutionary explosion of consciousness. It has to to buffer the negative explosion. Wow, 2,000 to 5,000 feet. And that also, think about oxygen and everything else. The, the less obstruction you have anywhere, anywhere, lungs, blood vessels, anywhere, the stronger, the more oxygenation, the more hydration, all of these things are key factors in athletics or in just everyday life. And all of that is remedied with the raw foods and especially the fruits and the berries and the melons, I'm telling you. Now, I've heard before things such as alfalfa spouts, wheatgrass, dandelion, parsley are great for athletics. All of those are. Wheatgrass, okay. Alfalfa sprouts, baby. You're talking muscle, baby, and strength. Uh, dandelion, all the chemistry, honey. And then parsley, that's your, both of those are kidney adrenal poppers. Uh, the root of dandelion, of course, is more hepatic, liver, pancreas, gallbladder, that sort of thing. But you're right on. You're right on in your thinking there, uh, uh, Chad doing good, man. Yeah, come on in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. Now, girls, settle down. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this hunk. Yep. And he went down thin. He understood that. He understood the malabsorption. Fix it and look at him on his way out. This guy is incredible. Love this guy. Incredible. Do, incredible. Doing extremely well. I'm going to keep this picture and show people how well you're doing. You remind me of uh, Steve Arden. Uh, you remind me of Steve, Steve Arden. He's got the, he wrote the book with David Wolf. And then he wrote his own book, Raw Power, and he's got a big picture of his muscles with all, filled with all the food in there. I think it's out of print, but uh, I did have a picture of that to show you, but things kind of tiptoe out of here sometimes. <laughs> now, I want to see this one here. Oh, darn. Well, we got a few more minutes. i got all week to be with you, and I'm going to come after and catch up one way or another. Come hell or high water, we're going to catch up. Oh, I, I, this is uh, D-A-A-K-A, -A -A, DACA, Jewelry. Now, I, that probably means, anyway. Hello, Dr. Morse. I just discovered you this weekend. All of what you say makes sense. Thank you. Well, I tell you what, we try to spout off what we see, what we know is truth, what, I, what I've personally experienced through clinicals and spiritually. Outside of that, it, everything's worthless to me. If it isn't based on some kind of truth, I don't like to mess with it because why tie yourself to crap? You know, we don't have, I don't have time for crap. I, I want to get this done. I'm out. I, I, I got, you know, there's a lot of worlds out there, guys, and you guys are going to get more aware of them and working in them. A lot of you are doing that now. You know who I'm talking about. And so there's a lot of levels to, to, to do things and to have fun. There's a lot of worlds to help. So there's a lot of things just in friggin' creation you can play with as long as you become more conscious and become a conscious traveler. So there's so much, so much fun, so much stuff. Getting out of this little closet called Earth, you know. Uh, she's learning as she's going. Uh, I've been using herbs for the past three years of a novice. But that's how you get... You, you play with it. You taste them. You smell them. You, you get used to them. That's how you play with herbs. You know, there's no machine that tells you that this herb's good and this herb's bad. I mean, that, that, that's, that's FDA crap. Yeah, we want a machine. 
Matter of fact, I want you all, you know, all your testimonials, uh, the way you've had trouble with the uh, AMA, how they've hurt you, the things they've done, wouldn't be bad to put a testimonial to us on those because there is a time the FDA is still getting brazen. They're making all the herb companies have a, a hire a person to just to deal with their their uh, restrictions and their regulation. They're making it so hard on us, which they don't realize is a lawsuit coming. Come on, man. You're going to come after you. You can't violate our rights, but they've gotten away with it so long that they're just brazen now. They're going to shut down Diamonds Organic or shut down this and shut down that. Things are going to turn, guys. I don't care. The things are going to turn. You can't continue to be corrupt like this. You just can't do it. If I was the guys at the FDA, I would leave now. Run. Because you guys are going to get in trouble. You've hurt too many people. You're just... But they're making these herb companies toll lines that are stupid and ridiculous. So herb prices are going up. We're still holding, but I can tell you we're going to have to go up. We're holding at a level we just can't make a lot of profits with. But still, and we offer wholesale... Think about that, uh, Mr. Schultz. Help others. Help your practitioners. If your products are good, I've always felt that our goal is to change the world, not to make money. Our goal is to change the consciousness of the world and to help those that are suffering. But those are the spiritual healers. Make a big difference. Now, learning as I go, and my go-to herbalist is Susan Weed. Uh, I recently, I ran into an article of hers about herbal cleansing being harmful for your liver. She doesn't believe in cleansing the body, but nourishing it, which makes sense to me. So with respect to you and her, I am confused. I don't be confused. Because she's not right. She's far from wrong. Or being right. She, is, uh, she doesn't understand nature uses cleansing. Cleansing is the process that everything, you clean your car out, don't you? You clean your house out, don't you? You clean your personal stuff up after a while. You get tired of that materiality. You'll get rid of it and replace it. Or for some of you like me, we don't like material things too much, so we like to be free from too many material things. Mm -hmm. But detox is the natural, natural thing. You can't stop it. Just eat right. See, what she doesn't understand is if you eat the way your body's designed to eat, you can't stop detox. It's going to happen irregardless because it isn't me doing it. It's your body. It's nature. That's the rhythm of nature. And it uses detox on all of its animals to do that. When you get sick in nature, it puts you down. You don't, you don't eat. Why? What, what is fasting all about? Oh, you've got to hurt the liver? She doesn't know what she's talking about. All the greens, all the herb, uh, all the fruit, all those neutralized toxins. I mean, that's exactly most of the toxins you're referring to are acid toxins. Uh, and these things are, are neutralizers of all this. So this, this, this lady, no offense to her, but she doesn't know what she's talking about. Uh, yeah, but if you're going to give nutrition to your body, what kind of nutrition? And that's obviously she doesn't understand that when you give your body raw foods, which is the, the only nutrition, if you're talking nutrition, that's the only nutrition there is. You, you don't give nutrition in bottles. You give nutrition in food and herbs. They're all nutritious, and she's an herbalist. She should know that. But immediately, you go into detox immediately. So what does she use herbs for? To treat diseases? I don't know. So, okay. Would you speak about this in some way? I know you said uh, you don't need uh, read because it throws you off, but please try to read these two short articles to understand her standpoint. I don't have to understand her standpoint. I don't need to understand her standpoint. Ain't worth my time uh, reading that. It has nothing to, I already know where she's coming from. I already know that state of consciousness, and I disagree with it. I can already tell you. That's, uh, that's ridiculous. She doesn't have a clue. And then I'd like to see what she thinks about nutrition. But uh, uh, other than that, I don't really care. Hopefully you can address this so I can get a clearer picture. Yeah, please get a clearer picture because you can't stop detoxification. And you want to clean the body. There, matter of fact, half the herbs are for cleansing. The other half's really for, for re, rebuilding tissue. But all your lymphatic herbs, there's so many herbs for cleansing in, in the body. But then there's other herbs, of course, for tissue. These herbs aren't for diseases because God didn't create diseases. Man did. So there's no herbs for diseases. So what are they for? What are all these different herbs for in nature? What's the lymphatic herbs for? To make the lymphatic stronger? It's a fluid-based system. So you see where I'm going here? This is how you clean yourself out. If you can't detoxify yourself out and you have a big tumor, you're going to enjoy the side effect of a big tumor. 
So, uh, no, honey. No, this girl doesn't know what she's talking about. Sorry. But thanks for this. So you so much for your work. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it much. You're an angel. You're a sweetheart, too. And listen, don't worry about that. And I, I see them right here. They, they, they ran them for me. So I'll read them, but I, I can just tell you. Yeah, I, we're way past that. You're way past that yourself. Don't get trapped in that. I don't care how nice the lady is or good or all that kind of stuff. You don't detoxify. Look at all the YouTubers that are detoxified and look at what they've gained. They've gained their remedy, their wellness back. And if you don't clean out your acids and rehydrate and rebuild your body, then I don't know how you get well. And you can feed it nutrition, but what's your take on, uh, and people's take on nutrition? See, there just is so much of that out there. What is this? <laughs> look at this. This is cool. Baby in mango box. Baby in mango box. Cute, cute, cute. Good parents. The liver and the adrenal gland relationship. Dr. Morris, is there any relationship between the liver and the adrenal glands? Well, the biggest one I know of is neurological and lymphatic. Now, in terms of uh, steroids in the liver, I will say that you're dealing in iron utilization or iron metabolism. Uh, that's a biggie. Uh, you know, so there is an adrenal connection in terms of metabolism of certain metals or, or minerals. Uh, there's a connection autonomically, the neurological system. Uh, there would be a connection lymphatically, of course, and that would be the sewer system in there. So the nervous system, the, the lymphatic system connection would definitely be there for sure, I would think. I have five lots of nerve. Wow. She has five different nerve. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's cutting through the liver gallbladder, it's just like it would be cutting through anything else. You have a reduced function of tissue. And then depends how bad that nervous system is to that. Because remember, we talked about neurological type 1 diabetes. Yeah. And this was, this was a, little, a little research done on mice in, a, in Canada, in a university. It seemed like Canada is doing some good research in their university, some good stuff. But uh, uh, it's too bad it's not all filtering with the rest of Canada and their, their physicians and stuff, but some good research coming out of Canada. And it's, um, this one showed that there is a neurological type 1 diabetes, which is easy. And then soon after I read that research, I, had, uh, I started looking at this, and I had a lady that had a knee injury. She had four surgeries. I can't imagine why four surgeries to fix a knee, but she said they did, somehow they didn't work or something, but four surgeries. After her fourth surgery, she came out of surgery with type 1 diabetes, and she quit menstruating. And they couldn't figure out why. And I said, you can't figure out why? Well, that's simple to understand. It's a Michael Jackson effect. That's propobol. Neural toxic. So she had neural suppression. And it suppressed the beta, probably a bunch of other things too. Suppressed her pituitary and she quit menstruating. Well, we popped up the pituitary, got the beta cells up, and she left type 1 and started menstruating and everything was good. But so you just look at those things and realize, you know, we're in a, we're in a world, a bad world in certain ways, and we just got to learn how to protect ourselves with the foods and everything like that. So this lady's got five nerve rings around the eye. And I just showed you the nerve rings from, um, yeah, nerve rings are all those rings that go around in an eye, like eggs rings on a, on a, on a you cut a tree off, the, the edge rings. And you don't want a lot of those, but the younger people are going to have them. And this is, this is from the genetic adrenals. I hope this is not your baby. Uh, I have five lots of nerve rings that fade in and out, depending. Naturally, I am very tired a lot of the time. Yep, that'd be your adrenals. And you would be tired. That's a neurological fatigue. You can be strong constitution, have plenty of great genes, but just feel like you're just terrible. And that's the adrenal glands. That's your nerve rings. And your myelin sheaths are down. And, of course, this is a perfect setup for shingles and all this other stuff. I am very tired a lot of the time. I would go on the adrenal granular 400s. I would right off <laughs> one, three times a day if it was me. Uh, I also had some liver issues in the past. Gallstones at age 19. Okay, so 
you know you're very acidic. You know that the adrenals are sitting on top of the kidneys, and so you know you have kidneys that are not filtering, sweetheart. I mean, you can tell. You know this, and so now you got the blow back to the liver, the gallbladder, and stuff like that. You can do a liver gallbladder flush to get that out. Use the liver gallbladder formula. It'll start cleaning the stones out and enhancing the liver. But you want to thank lymphatics. You want to home down on those nerve rings and on, on that. And the way to do that is the adrenal gland kidney connection. That'll pull the liver clean. and It'll pull your bowels clean because if you got it up in the liver, remember, the GI tract is the, the trunk of the tree. So the liver is just a branch. Here's the pancreas. Here's the spleen. So they can get it too. So it's just getting your lymph moving and cleaning out. And all that inflammation, any stones that are formed, remember, it's formed under acidosis, agglomeration. So how do you break a, a, apart hardness and, and, and dehydration? Electrolytes, alkaline chemistry. Your fruits and your veggies. I have done a few liver flushes. Uh, will it help my adrenals in the long run to improve liver health? By, uh, uh, I would go the opposite. I would get. I mean, you're doing good with the liver, but you want to go down and deal with those adrenals. The liver's not going to help the adrenals. The adrenals need to help the liver. See where I'm going? So you got to go after the adrenals. The glands are always the key. Everything else is prima facie. The key, the, 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 the real law, so to speak, is the glands. Prima facie law would be the UCC, Uniform Commercial Code. That's when they stop you on the highway and give you a speeding ticket. That's not law like law officers claim. That's a code. Well, codes are under color of law, not real law, because a lot of it violates your constitutional rights in this country, and a lot of cops don't understand all that. And so it's a big deal in this country for some of us who've studied that and know that the UCC, if you look it up in a Black's Law Dictionary or a Law Dictionary, look at the Uniform Commercial Code versus statutory law, and you'll see the difference. Now, uh, adrenals in a long run to improve liver health. Now, you go after those adrenals, sweetheart. Go after those adrenals. Go after those kidneys, too, and go after your lymph system. Even if you can only afford adrenal 400 glandulars, maybe a kidney formula, a lymphatic formula, a liver gallbladder formula. That sounds good. Go after a bowel formula, too. Five formulas. Go into your body and get those. Uh, my son, too, had the... Oh, look at this. Is this your son? My son, too, had the ghost of two nerve rings. Well, he only got two. That means daddy pulled him away because actually your son could have had more coming all from your genes. He would, it would have been easy to have six or seven with your son because the, the downline is always weaker. Because how many years, how old were you when you had your boy? So that's how many years you had what kind of diet before you conceived? What kind of diet did you have on top of those nerve rings? See what I'm saying? That's why it's a downline, the downline, the downline. We generally don't procreate for about 18 to 20 years. There's some 15-year-old mothers out there, but still, I'm sure there's some 13-year-old mothers out there, too. Inherited from me, he is only just over one, but primarily lives on fruit. You are one smart mom. And this is this how you raise. Your baby looks healthy and good. Look at that. Training your baby right, your baby will be smart, healthy, no cancer for this young man. Good job, sweetheart. I'm going to cut off. I'll be back tomorrow. The next day and the next day. So you are going to get a little bored and tired of me because we got so much to go over. So much to cover. And I only can do it in little spurts, you know. But gosh, I got so much to talk about. But keep in mind, what is this? Uh, I don't know. This is more stuff for me to take home and work. Ah. Uh, our book is out in Italian now. I am an Italian girl, Sarah, and I live in two the one of the most... Oh, wow. Is this another one to read? I don't know. I'll have to look at these and see. But I love you guys. Keep it civil, but take off running. I tell you, some of you have done so, so well. I'm so pleased, and you're helping so many people. Oh, it's been years. I wondered, is this ever going to happen? And now you guys are bringing this whole thing. You guys be proud of yourselves because you're all doing the God thing here. And let me tell you, this is there's spiritual beings all over the place. You have so much help and there's so much going on that a lot of people don't see behind the scenes. Cool stuff. Cool stuff, guys. All this or nothingness. Hmm. Tell me. Love you guys. Namaste and may the blessings be and you have a great, great afternoon or day whenever you get this video and keep it up.
Keep yourself raw as much as possible. Keep up the fight. Don't let anybody take you off your game. If you need to know something, write or call. If you're hurting real bad, you call and get yourself going. You don't sit there and suffer. You know, and get, get yourself well. It feels good to be well. It feels energy and good and healthy. Don't have a body that keeps beating you up. Fix your body till you don't know you have one. When your body's so healthy and working, ask me about athletics. You don't want to know you have a body. When you get there, you're home. Bye-bye.